Welcome to Creating Mood and Atmosphere. I am Barry Grossman, and I have been photographing interior design and architecture for three decades now. And for those of you who know my work and have um, looked at some of my tutorials before, I'm just going to briefly showcase a few of my images, uh, many of which have been featured in other tutorials. And if you're new to this channel and have never seen any of my tutorials before, welcome and thank you. And I hope the takeaway from today's lessons will apply um, to any of your upcoming photo shoots. And for me, I have always been interested in creating images that have a signature look, my signature look, and in a manner of speaking, try to put something atmospheric, try to create a sense of drama or mood with my work. Um, lots of times the subject matter speaks for itself and lots of times I feel like it's my job, I feel like it's my um, creative impulse, if you will, just to put a little something special in terms of light quality of composition into the work to create something that maybe wasn't there in, in an effort to enhance the design. And we're just scrolling through a handful of images um, from across my portfolio, residential, hospitality, commercial, interior, exterior, um, in an effort to kind of, I hope, inspire and give you a sense of who I am as a photographer. Um, speaking of inspiration, um, what inspires me and what has historically inspired me from, from my photography is, is my background in cinematography and, and frankly, my love for film. Um, and we're taking a look at an image, one of my favorite images, and there's so many from Citizen Kane. And what's really cool about this and, and how it applies to today's lesson is these were all predominantly film sets created from nothing, designed and then constructed from nothing. And then the cinematographer would go in, frame up the shots and, and illuminate the space and really create depth and really create mood and atmosphere. And this kind of thought process, honestly, I can apply to my work today. This is another image from one of my favorite films from Blade Runner. Um, it came out in the early 80s, 1980, 1981. I can't remember at this point. Um, but again, the same thing here. This, this constructed sets lit dramatically, creating mood, creating atmosphere from, from nothing. Um, and in our case, we're... we're, we're the beneficiary of photographing an interior and our job really is to paint that interior with light. Um, I've demonstrated this on several of my other tutorials. So it's really about highlighting what's there, making it special, making it feel unique. And today's tutorial is going to really focus on situations where we're shooting something that needs a little bit of atmosphere to bring it to life. I've always enjoyed showing behind the scenes images from my workshops. Um, and these are just a handful of images from some of the workshops that we've done. We've done three over the last four years. And this is a couple of shots from the newest workshop that we did um, in Serenby, which is just, out, just outside of Atlanta. And look, they even got me to crawl on top of a truck uh, for this one. So taking a photograph of this really cool modern home. Um, really great opportunity to work with photographers on site, on location. Give them the opportunity to shoot. What is natural light? Um, I guess that's kind of the, the, the question of the day. <laughs> and is natural light going to be the most beautiful and is it possible to capture that light on a day-to-day -day basis when you're a, a, a commercial photographer? Um, and when you're encountering spaces like this and you don't have that beautiful light coming through the window, how do you, cre how do you create it? This is another beautiful image. It's one of my favorite quiet images that I, that I created for one of my designers in New York. And, you know, again, I'm looking for those special moments when the sun is just peering through the window. But you know, you don't always have those moments. And here's a perfect example of a shoot that we recently did 
um, where my designer wanted to create an evening kind of vibe across the entire shoot. And when you are setting up shots that look like this, isn't it a lot more fun to deliver this to your clients? And so how do we transform? How do we create mood? How do we create atmosphere in situations like that one or like this one, where this is a really kind of fun, modern, daytime look? But again, within the context of my work, I want to create something dramatic and something that has mood and something that has pop to it. And how do we do that? Creating mood and atmosphere, that's the focus of today's tutorial.